Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more. Hey guys, we're back again with another exciting video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys how to speed up the growth, <laughs> both for natural and for relaxed hair. Well, everything is going to be the same, but you understand? Anyways, the first thing for hair growth is to do protective styles, right? When I say protective styles, I mean, how would I say? You want to avoid combing your hair too much. You want to avoid tight ponytails because that will make your hair brittle. You want to avoid too much heat. As I said in my last video, too much heat is not good for your hair, so you want to reduce that. Also, the next thing is to massage your hair daily. As these kind of massages for your hair, they tend to stimulate blood flow, so you have better hair growth. The follicles get to breathe, and so, so you want to massage your hair daily. The next thing is to reduce shampoo in your hair. You know, a lot of person wash your hair, you wash it this week, then you wash it the next week, and this week, and this week. No, you want to reduce that, right? You want to just slow down on that. You don't have to wash your hair every day and every week. If you wash your hair this week, you will remember to wash it the next, the week after the, the next week, right? So the next thing you guys want to do, pardon me, is to, I do this a lot, is to avoid combing your hair in one ponytail up. You want to avoid that. You don't have to avoid it, but you want to reduce the time you do it. Because what it tends to do, it make you have your edges who are going to get brittle. Your hair, your hair back is going to get, the hair on is going to get brittle and weak. Because you're constantly doing it up. So that will break the hair, right? So instead of doing it high all the time, you want to take it down a notch. You want to take it down low, right guys? So yeah. Okay, the next thing is essential oils. And here I have is a great essential oil for your hair. This is a tea tree oil. This is good for your hair. I know, because these are facts. This is good for your hair. Coconut oil is also good for your hair. And um, what did I say? Peppermint. Because peppermint, what it does, I've, I'm not sure if you guys have ever used it on your hand or anywhere. You, you get a little tingling feelings. Well, you all know because it's peppermint. But what it does is give a tickling sensation to your head, to your scalp, and that open the follicles so your hair can breathe and it, you know, unclogs your, unclogs your pores and, you know, promotes the hair growth. The next thing we all do, we are all guilty of it, is brushing your hair too hard, right? So, for instance, if you're doing an updo ponytail, which you, you supposed to limit doing that, you're gonna brush it. You brush it, you brush it, whether it's wet, whether it's dry. That there's some brushes that will tilt your hair, will break your hair, and all sorts of things to your hair. That is not good for your hair because you're weakening your hair. <clears throat> you're weakening your hair when you brush your hair too much. You just want to just be gentle when you're doing that. The next thing is uh, bleaching and dyeing and pressing. All of those things slow down your hair growth, especially the bleaching and the dyeing. That is very bad for your hair. I do it, but it, all right. If you are doing it, guys, you need to keep it moist because I do my ends. But you have to keep your hair moist when you do that. Because if you don't, if you're combing your hair, it's going to break. As you barely touch it, the ends are brittle and they break. So you want to just minimize that, guys. And there's something special that we do in this house when you to promote the blood flow in your, your head, scalp. You lay on your bed and lean your head backwards like this. You have about 10 minutes or 5 to let the blood, the blood flow in your hair. And while you're doing that, you can also massage your hair. Okay, guys. Well, we don't really do this, but you can do a cold water rinse after a shower every day. That is also good, but me and you both know we're not going to do that every day. 
because I mean, you don't want to get to hear wet, when you get it wet, you got to blow dry it or something. So, but that is good to get a cold wings every now and then, right? Yes, guys, there are a lot of things you can do to promote hair growth, guys. You have to eat healthy, that is one, and avoid more acidic food and I I forgot to mention this there are some things in the conditions that you guys use that is not supposed to be in your hair some of the products that you use in your hair they have lanolin um, sulfate that's not good for your hair and alcohol that's not good for your hair either but if we can avoid using those products with those things in it that is also good. It is excellent. Pardon my hair, guys. A little bit messy now, but anyways, we're talking about hair, aren't we? Yes, we are. So yes, you want to avoid those things. Then let me see the ingredients on this because this is very good for your hair. The tea tree oil is very good, and coconut oil mixed on those things work for your hair. So this is one percent, one hundred percent pure Australian oil. Ingredients: Melocule, Alternifolia. I'm not sure of these words, but these are good. This is good, so you can probably get it. Okay, guys, and use it as an essential oil in your hair, guys. Well, I hope you guys learned from this video what to do and what not to do to your hair. So please remember to like and subscribe.